see if Hunter can, can do something. There's the rookie tracker. You can see that uh, one car, Takuma Sato, is out of the race. And, and sure here enough. he is, Ryan Hunter Ray, trying to get second from Dario and does so. So nice. how that looked is they probably were a little, they're very similar in their aero package. But Hunter Ray's car is just working a lot better through the corners. But the way they kind of drag each other on the straightaway, I would say their aero package is, is close. And I was checking. I did not see any overtake assist there. So that was simply, as you said, Robbie, the speed of the cars on the straightaways and the aero mode. Yeah. We do have a local yellow in turn number one, but it will not bring out a full course caution. Now Ryan Hunter Ray looks for the opportunity for himself to take the lead. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. There it is. Oh, look at the bow. Oh, oh, but can wow. he stop? Can he wow. stop? You know, we talked about the bumps when you get offline, but I didn't think we were going to hit bumps and get airborne. And Did you yeah, see that? Send sparks everywhere. What a good job, because when you when you hit those bumps and you get airborne, obviously the contact patch, the tire comes off the pavement, usually it lengthens your brake zone, but he did a great job. And he's doing this on black sidewalls. He's on the primary Firestone Firehawks, and he's well, flying. Well, you know, that reminds me of something. You know, we both read last night, he's the one guy that said yesterday, I wish we would have qualified because my car was so good yeah. when when you had the, the concrete section that was so slippery. He's the one guy that said, I really wanted to qualify yesterday. That's confidence with his race car. Jack, uh, what's the latest on the weather from the hippy dippy weatherman? Well, they say it's coming, it's coming, and I can attest to the fact that it has gotten as dark as it has been in Sao Paulo since we arrived. And the issue is right now, these cars are going to most likely have to go to rain tires. The wind is picked up. Everything, as you see, a dice for a position there between Danica Patrick and Ryan Briscoe. And remember one thing. If we have to go to rain tires, the red and black requirements go out the windows, fellas. If we go to a rain tire, you don't have to fulfill that. And that's what De, what Silvestro, De Silvestro has done. She's run the entire race on, re, on the red tires until her last pit stop. Oh, 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 trouble. TK gets hit and, by and, somebody. And during all that, notice Briscoe, Briscoe tucked into the pits, guys, to maybe come in with tires. A lot going on real quick there. Was Look. it Tagliani that uh, got into the back of? I wasn't sure who it was. Well, here's but there's Briscoe. Yeah. So there's the Briscoe going to the race. You notice how he had just gotten passed by Danica and was being hounded by Conway? And now it's, it's yelled. Wow. Wow, hometown we're, hero. The fans still, are not going to like this. Yeah. And we're still local, local yellow. The track is green as we speak right now. I thought it looked like it might have been a KV car, but let's, let's first of all, just listen. Well, Tagliani was right behind him. Well, that would be... Uh, yes. No! No! Tagliani, no, Tagliani got Tagliani. pushed by uh, Wel uh, uh, Weldon. Is Wel uh, no. Let's make sure that's Weldon or... Yeah, I, I don't know. There's a couple red, white, and blue cars. Let's, well, Weldon let's pull was that running back. fifth, so I think it was. Okay. Okay. I just... We still need to confirm that, I think. So, yes and no. Yes, it was Tagliani, but he was helped. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> he, too, was a he, victim. He was punted. Well, Ryan Briscoe is the first to go to rain tires. Here is the replay of the tire change. Jack uh, kind of rolling the dice here, hoping for a wet racetrack, huh? You know, so many times, and the rain is beginning to come, guys. Now we're starting to feel the drops. What a great call on the part of Roger Penske. When that yellow came out, that local yellow, he called his driver in. Let's go to the reins first. Everybody else is going to have to come in eventually. Believe me, we're starting to see the big raindrops. And guess what? Ryan Briscoe will just be able to matriculate his way, as they say, yep. through the field. And yeah, you can see it's it's uh, getting pretty wet there on the back stretch. And this is the worst part. Right oh, when yeah. that rain first hits, you got the oil that's coming up through that brand new black tarmac. It is, I don't know how you describe how slick
like it really can be. It's like when on ice. It is, and you got that big surface area of the Firestone slicks. That just exaggerates everything. And the scary part is you don't know how wet the next corner is going to be because you haven't driven through there yet. Exactly, and it's just coming down versus when it's just pouring rain and you've been out for a lap, you know what to expect for the most part. Now, TK, of course, just got passed and went a lap down. He was involved in that incident, so he was in the top five and is still running in third on the track, but is not in that so, position. Yeah. Look at them go into the pits. Oh, Hunter Wright stayed out. out. Simona stayed out. And, and let's keep track of where Briscoe's going to cycle through. We saw him peel in and take tires before anybody else, as Jack was just saying. Yep. Waiting for Tony Kanaan. Oh, oh, the 23 of Anna Beatrice is not going where she wants to go. Here's TK stop. She found out how slick it was with yep. a little bit of rain. <laughs> Tony has a lot of ground to make up because of that little incident. Whoa. There's Justin Wilson almost colliding with his teammate, Conway. That's not good, huh? That's <laughs> not good. <laughs> what do you think about that? Well, they didn't hit. <laughs> Maybe that's the beginning of their love affair. I don't know. Frankini comes out, so does Scott Dixon. You can see how big those raindrops are as Dan Weldon yeah. relinquishes a spot in the top five and, to make and, a stop. And look how much slower things happen out on the racetrack now. Just, I mean, we still are green. It's not wonder yellow, but just the slick nature of this racetrack now. This bland, brand new black tarmac, it really, with the heat they have there, it must really just bring up that oil and be slicker than... We yeah. might mention that the reason this race started so early in Brazil is because on a normal day, this time of year, it rains about 4 o'clock. Well, it didn't today. <laughs> Came a little bit early. A little bit that, early. Uh oh, oh, Ryan Hunter Ray. Missed the corner. Remember, he didn't come into the pit, so he's still on slicks. Yep. Yeah, he's going to come in right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, now. But no penalty for what he did. He right. just missed the breaking point. He didn't oh. overtake. Buddy. Danica spins. Same same place that we just saw. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, Ray. Romancini. <laughs> Mario Romancini. Another graduate of the Firestone Indy Lights and the full course caution comes out. His car, they're slipping and sliding everywhere, Jack. It's a real skating rink out there. And Bob, if you... And Bob, if you take a look at some of the camera shots as we come around the racetrack, you'll see what looks like little snowballs. There are actually areas on the racetrack where hail has begun to fall. So next thing I guess we'll have is locusts. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, you can almost see the size of the raindrops is too big, really, for normal rain. And we kind of suspected there might have been a little bit of hail. Watch so, the blend line when Hunter Ray comes out here. Where is Briscoe? That's what I want to know. car that has made contact with the wall. Is that Alex Lloyd, guys? And the... It looks like the Boy Scout Dale Coyne entry to me. So I was just about to say, when the rain hits, look at it, it's already puddling on that back straightaway. When the rain hits, you just have to go anywhere on the racetrack to look for grip. You may, you got to throw out what you know of a practical racing line and just search for grip. Avoid puddles. Um, it's crazy. It's a, it's a whole whole different setup to the car and everything. Heavy rain falling on the streets of Sao Paulo in the Sao Paulo Indy 300. Stay with us on Versus. Welcome to Brazil. Food and wine. Furniture. Jewelry. Technology. Biofuels. I'm Tony Canan. Experience the energy of my Brazil. Select Izod IndyCar driver. Driver selected. Tony Canan. Select race transport. Race to the party.com. 